Recording started. Uh, this week we looked at uh, we looked at uh, data storage. Data storage, and we will uh, we have seen three different types. So three uh, different uh, formats of data storage. What are they? Can you please tell me? Yes, so files. There's also, as you said, databases. And what is the last one? Uh, database management. Systems. Okay, so DBMS. Okay, uh, we also seen there's different type of the databases. What are they? Can you tell me the different type of databases? Objects. Object-oriented databases. Relational network database. What else? Hierarchy. Any other? Multi dimension. Okay, so these are the things, uh, these are the types of databases that are mostly used. The most popular is relational databases. Okay. So, can you tell me what kind of uh, data storage is this? The one showed on the screen. So it is a database, yes, or it can be a file, like an Excel. Okay. What about this one? What kind of database? Yes, so it's a relational relational database. What about this one? Any idea of what kind of database is this? Hierarchy database. What about this one? Network database. What 
What about what do you think this type of database is? Object oriented databases. Okay, object oriented. So let's say object. What about this one? What do you think this hierarchy is? This kind of database. multi dimension database okay multi dimensional database what kind of diagram is this any idea what kind of diagram is this Is it showing, no? Database diagram. Yeah, but it has a schema there. Yeah. Yes, this is what we call an ER diagram. So entity relational diagram. Okay. What is crude? What is what does C stand for? Can you see it? Yes, create. What about R? Read. What about you? What does U stand for? Updates. What about D? Letter D. Delete. Okay. So when you create a database or a, a, any kind of data, you have to have this functionality of create, read, update, and delete. Okay. We also talked about optimization, okay, database optimization. What are the methods that we use for optimization? Can you give me any example of the methods we use to optimize our database? Yes, denormalization. Any other things?
Injection. Well done. Any other things? Clustering. Okay. Last but not least is estimating uh, the database usage. Okay. These are the four things that we use to optimize our database to make it more, uh, it has more better performance in regard of uh, uh, read and write in, within the database. Okay. Any questions? Okay, I think that's it for today. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.